بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم این السلام علیکم پاکستان سعید حسین حیدر از بیک ود کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ ان دا پریویس سیشنز وی آر لوکنگ ایٹ اے ویری امپورٹنٹ فیکٹر آف فیکٹرز ان کارپوریٹ گورننس وچ فارم دا ویری ایڈیفس آف ہاؤ پیپل ری ایکٹ اینڈ ڈو تھنگس اینڈ وائی دے ڈونٹ ڈو تھنگس اینڈ وائی ڈو دے ڈو تھنگس وچ دے شوڈ ناٹ بی ڈوئنگ سو وی ان دا پریویس سیشنز وی آر لوکنگ ایٹ اوبیڈینس کنفارمٹی اینڈ دا بائی اسٹینڈر ایفیکٹ اینڈ وی ڈڈ سم ایکسرسائزز and we also did some very interesting case studies today we are going to look at some other factors one situationism two dishonesty and three religious faith especially in the pakistan context religious faith is a very important element of doing or not doing different things and it is across all segments of society now when we look at situationism then what we see is is that many a times a situation compels a human being an individual or an employee to do something and how are we going to understand this theory of situationism we are going to look at a very uh, controversial experiment which was done by zimbardo right back in 1971 but its consequences and its results have an impact even in the corporate world of today so when we uh, look at this stanford uh, prison experiment which was actually conducted in stanford university in 1971 by zimbardo what we see is that this was uh, basically looking at the psychological effects of perceived power uh, and secondly we see that uh, student volunteers assume the roles of guards and prisoners and the results reveal the problem of situations of that how situations can compel individuals to do something which they could not even dream of doing but they did it in a particular situation now what we see is that even zimbardo later on accepted the fact that his experiment was unethical because it was a very drastic experiment it entailed things which were condemned later on that how could a professor do such an experiment in which people were mentally and physically tortured so uh, it became a very big controversy but its impact its understanding and its results are a reflection of situationism so when you look at the video which is going to be provided to you you will see that fundamentally uh, a makeshift prison was made and in that makeshift prison what we see is that some students adopt the role of uh, prisoners and the others adopt the role of guards and do keep in mind that all of these are volunteers from stanford university and what we see is is that based upon the situation the guards mentally and physically torture and abuse the uh, the the volunteer uh, prisoners even though everyone is aware that this is an experiment but they tend to drift so much in that situation that they started doing things which were just unbelievable so you'll see the video and through that video you'll see all of it happening and then what you can do is is that you can can compare what you have seen in that particular video to what i'm talking about right now and also what you see outside in the real world for example what i've written over here is uh, that Uh, corruption has been accepted as a norm which is called the thana culture now why is it that we have accepted the thana culture and again so many things are done over there which should not be done but because of the situation people tend to accept it transgressions like bribe taking on part of the local police is deplorable and again there's a film that i would like all of you to watch and it's a 2009 academy award winning film and that is invictus which basically reflects the ethical turpitudes prevailing in the south african society so this is a really uh, interesting film which i would like you to watch is it's made uh, on the life of uh, nelson mandela his first year as the president and how he basically was able to mold the perceptions of the people of africa and bring them out of the abyss into a winning streak into a winning streak so this film Uh, is again a film based upon situationism in which you can see a situation is created and 
Zimbardo basically created a negative situation, Nelson Mandela created a positive situation. So if you look at the 1971 documentary, which is going to be provided to you, and then you look at this 2009 film, which is based upon real life, you'll see that situationism can be positive and can be negative. But when it's negative, then it can have uh, far-reaching consequences of which we have to be very careful as corporate managers and as institutions that we cannot let the seeds of situationism uh, be sowed into an organization which later on could have multitudes or multiple adverse effects. And that, that is very important. You can also look up a book, and this book is very interesting, uh, The Honest Truth About Dishonesty. <laughs> it's a very nice title. It's by Dan Eilie, 2012. It identifies a dissonance between wanting to be good and wanting to have things that everyone desires. So, on one side, we as humans have this dissonance within us that we want to be good. We want to do the right thing. We want to follow rules and regulations. We don't want to indulge in negative activity. But then, there is a paradox. And that is that we want to have things that everyone desires. We want to have a nice car. And that car could be a sports car. It could be a multi crore rupee SUV. We want to have a house. We want to have a beautiful house. We want to have a palace. We want to have a castle. We want to have lakes in it. We want to live in opulence. We want to wear very expensive clothes. We want to have very expensive things. We want to travel the world. Well, yeah, these are things that everyone desires. Now, if we want to achieve all of that, then maybe we might have to indulge in uh, compromises. We'll have to indulge in corruption. We'll have to indulge uh, in unethical practices. Now, this is the dissonance which tends to exist. But understanding that dissonance is very, very important. And once we understand it, then we can create an environment where people will not be dishonest, where people will not do the wrong thing based upon choice. So that is very important, uh, ladies and gentlemen. That is something that you have to learn. And if you watch these, this documentary uh, of 1971, the Stanford, prison, uh, the Stanford Prison Experiment, and also the film Invictus, then you will be able to see two sides of the coin and decide for yourself which you would like to follow and which you would like to incorporate within the organization that you're working or you're managing or running yourself. So there's another thing in this whole thing, and that is what, what the hell effect. Rationalization that the good thing from the moral point of view coincides with our need to satisfy a desire by illicit means. So again, this what the hell effect is also a paradox. That sometimes we just say uh, that, uh, I mean, uh, let's, let's just not follow rules and regulations and why are we bothering about it so much? Let's just make our lives easier. But, but does it make our lives easier? That is a question again that we have to ask to ourselves. Now, in all of this, when we look at religion, it gives us inner strength. It shields us from these inadequacies and these convulsions and these convolutions and all of this perversion which is around us, this chaos and confusion in our mind what to do and what not to do. And definitely, uh, it has a huge impact in Pakistan. The glorious Quran offers enlightenment to the receptive mind and advocates a code of behavior that is based on doing what promotes the collective good of society. So, again, creating a win-win situation in which someone's loss is not, is not my gain. But we create win-win situations in which we take the society forward, which is, which is called uh, the, the state of Medina. So, we see how in early Islam, people would do business, how they would do governance, how they would do social work, how they would support each other based upon the philosophy of akhuat, based upon the philosophy of brotherhood. And muakhat e Medina, what we see is, is that again, how uh, the people of Medina came to the support of their brother sisters coming in from Makkah. And then together, they built one of the largest empires and one of the largest economic conglomerates of the known world. So that is the phenomena of truth, of honesty, of constructive situationism, of positive situationism, rather than doing it adversely and compromising and doing things hypocritically, saying something, doing something else, and subscribing to the what the hell effect. Though we have to be very careful and we have to move forward in the right way. We have to take the right steps for the betterment of ourselves as individuals, for our families, 
for our society and community and for the nation and for the whole globe. We can do it, but we have to make the right choices. And one way of doing it is studying the glorious Quran, studying its translation, understanding what is written is still eternity. And one way of it is looking at a small book called Reflections in which the different parts of the Quran uh, are talked about and it's something uh, very precise. And again, uh, you can go through it and try to understand what is expected from us as human beings and how we can conduct our lives in a better way. And that is an extremely important question. And again, we have to uh, abstain from what we see in the Stanford Prison experiment and not get into that bummer, into that whirlpool in which we cannot extricate ourselves. That is extremely important, ladies and gentlemen, to do the right thing. Thank you so much.